Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another near native English lesson. My name's Johnny, and it's time for another Witcher Three lesson. So, let's begin. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that Zugal in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. A stream. Amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So for this first scene, Geralt says, I've got Buckthorn. And Besomir replies, Powerful scent. To which Geralt replies, More like stench. So if you know that scent usually refers to a nice smell, then stench is kind of the opposite in that it refers to a strong bad smell. It has similarities with the verbs smell, stink or reek. And so manure is also something we can describe as having a stench because man manure is fertilizer that is made from animal waste and therefore has a bad smell. Now later on, they decide to get to work hunting the griffin and Geralt says, let's find a good spot to ambush it. So to ambush is to hide and wait for somebody and then make a surprise attack. Uh, so some examples are soldiers ambushing people during war or meat eating animals often have to ambush their prey to increase their chances for success. So when Geralt and Vesemir need to find a place to ambush from, Vesemir says, Pick the place out already, on the other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. So a grove is an area of trees without much growing underneath. Just as you can see in the pictures here. And later on when Geralt's describing the place where they will ambush the griffin, he says, A stream, amber waves of grain charming place and so amber is a less commonly used color that describes something brownish yellow in color and when they are preparing to ambush the griffin Besomir says we can cower in the shade of those birches so to cower is to crouch down in fear like you can see in the picture the woman is afraid of the man and is cowering due to fear and finally, birches just refers to a certain type of tree, uh, the kind you can see here in the picture. Not bad, not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. 
But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I... I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never know. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. So next up here, the farmer hands over the rye, and the commander says, This grain is rotten, for the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes. So defective refers to something that doesn't work properly or as intended. It's similar to faulty, damaged, or deficient. For example, this power board was defective, and so a hole was burnt into it as a result. And after Geralt kills the Griffin, completing the contract, the garrison commander says, This gold is yours. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. So first let's take a look at compensate. And that is to give something for a service or to make up for something negative. Think of the words balance, counteract or make amends for. So in terms of making up for something negative, the goal is to balance how bad the negative thing is by an equal amount of something good. Uh, so for example, when people are injured at work, the company should give you money to compensate you for the injury and the fact you may not be able to work in the future. And so lastly, inadequate just refers to something that is not enough, insufficient or unsatisfactory. So, earlier in the conversation, Geralt says to the commander, I fulfilled my end of the bargain, now it's your turn. So in this phrase, bargain means the same as agreement. So to fulfill your end of the bargain or agreement is to do as promised in the agreement. And when the commander tells Geralt where Yennefer is, Geralt says, She was a day's ride from here the whole time, right under my nose. So this phrase describes something that's in a place easy to see or find, or very close. And we often use it when we couldn't see that thing that was close or easy to see, as in the picture here where the guy can't find his glasses. And during this conversation, Garrett is also unhappy, because the commander didn't tell him where Yennefer was earlier, and the commander replies, yes but you would not have killed the griffin, tit for tat. So tit for tat is to pay somebody back for what they have done by doing something similar to them. So I think the commander is referring back to when Geralt killed some men at the White Orchid Inn. And another example of tit for tat behavior would be like the trade war. As one country puts a tariff on goods then the other country does the same thing to the other country's goods. Anyways guys, that'll end this lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next time.